How's it going everyone? And welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to connect your WordPress account to your Google Analytics account as well as the Search Console for Google. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this is quite simple, but we need to get two things out of the way first, being we want to make sure that we're logged into our WordPress account as an administrator, as well as our Google account. So as you can see here, um, here's actually an example. I'm logged into my Google AdSense. And the reason for that is because um, WordPress actually has a plugin designed by Google that has kind of an all-in-one deal for all of the Google tools that you guys will need. So these pertain to Google Analytics, the Search Console, AdSense, um, Google Ads, Gmail, and whatever. So to actually integrate it into our WordPress account is quite simple. So um, once you guys are in the dashboard, like, um, like you're seeing here, you want to navigate to the left-hand side of the screen and find the plugins tab. So it's this one right here in the shape of a, a literal plug. So you want to highlight this and you're met with two options being installed plugins to manage and configure your, obviously your installed plugins as well as add a new plugin. So from here, you want to click on add a new plugin and you guys will be redirected to this page right here. So this is kind of like their store or collection of uh, compatible plugins for WordPress. So uh, once you guys are here, when it, uh, you want to click on the search bar as it's actually the easiest way to uh, navigate through the plugins and type SiteKit. Because SiteKit actually includes all of the tools that I've mentioned before. So as you can see here, it contains analytics, the search console, AdSense, and speed. So it goes without saying that um, all you have to do is click on it and actually install the plugin. So I actually already have this installed, so it's actually quite simple. So when you guys click on SiteKit by Google, it's going to take you to their plugin or store page. And from here, you just want to click on, normally this deactivate button would be the install button. So you basically just want to authenticate it, give it permission, and you guys are done. That's it. And that's how you install it. So it's quite simple and straightforward. Now you guys can get to doing analytics and integrating SEO into your WordPress sites and domains and whatever. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. And if it did, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And if you guys want to see more videos like these, we do have a YouTube channel where we do guides like these daily. So if you guys want to show your support that, you can do so by subscribing to the channel. So with all of that said, thank you all for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.